Hello everyone, you're welcome to Otis Culture. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us on how to draft a basic body pattern. I'll be using my body measurement for today's tutorial and I've written them out. If you're a beginner, I will always advise that you write out your body measurement first before drafting on your pattern or on your fabric so that you will not make mistake. Without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. I have my body measurement written out in vertical and horizontal lines. Under the vertical line, I have my armhole depth of 9 inches. I have my shoulder to my bust point. This BP stand as bust point, 11 and a half inches. Shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. Shoulder to my hip line is 24 inches. Moving to the horizontal measurement, I have my shoulder measurement of 17 inches divided by 2 gives me 8.5. My bust pan measurement, that is, measurement from one nipple to the other is 9 inches divided by 2 gives me 4.5. My bust circumference is 45 inches divided by 4 gives me 11 and quarter. My waist circumference is 40 inches divided by 4 gives me 10 inches. My hip circumference is 52 inches. Divided by 4 gives me 13 inches. Let's move right to the drafting. This is my starting line and it's also my shoulder line. The first thing I'm going to do is to insert all my vertical measurements. First measurement I'll be inserting is my shoulder to my bust point, which is 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches. I'll move forward a little and also measure 11 and a half inches. Shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. I'll move forward a little and also measure 17 inches. Next is my hip line. Shoulder to my hip is 24 inches. I'll move forward a little and also measure 24 inches. Then I'm going to join all these dots into a straight line. Next is to label the lines. This is my bust point. I'll write BP. This is my waist. I'm going to write W. This is my hip line. I'm going to write H. Next is to insert my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. Eight point five. Standard neck width is three inches. I'll measure neck width of three inches. I'll be using three and a half inches for the neck depth. Three and a half. With my arm hole curve, I'm going to curve out the neckline. At the shoulder measurement, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. One inch. From the one inch, I'm going to connect it to the neck width. From this one inch, I'm going to measure my arm or depth of nine inches.
nine inches. To help me determine the straight line, I will simply measure the eight and a half inches that I have here. I will measure it down here as well. Then I will connect from the one inch slope to my arm holder. Adding waist that to my pattern, my bust spine measurement is 9 inches divided by 2 is 4.5. So at the bust point line, I'm going to measure 4.5 inches. As I will move to the hip line and also measure 4.5 inches. Then I will connect to a straight line. Standard measurement for waist that is one inch. At the waist line, I'm going to measure half an inch here, half an inch here. Half an inch, half an inch. At the bust point line, I'm going to come down by one inch. At the hip line, I'm going to go up by two inches. Then I'll connect my dance. Just like so. Nice ins insert all my horizontal measurements. At this line, I'm going to measure my bust circumference. 11 and quarter. 11 and quarter. Next is to insert my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. But because I'm going to sew in 1 inch that, I have to replace it back. So I'm going to replace 1 inch back to the waist measurement. So I'm going to measure 11 inches here at the waistline. 11 inches. My hip measurement is 52 divided by 4 gives me 13 inches. 13 inches. Next, next is to connect the lines together. First to my waist. Just like so. My hip curve, I'm going to connect from my waist to the hip. Just like so. Next is to cover our arm hole. nine inches in length and half of nine inches is 4.5 at the midpoint we're going to measure three quarter then with the ample curve we will connect 
from the shoulder to the three quarter, then from the three quarter to the bust. Shoulder to the three quarter, from the three quarter to the bust, just like this. This is how to draft the front bodies. You can leave your shape like this, but if you want to have a little curve by the side, all you will simply do is to measure one inch upward. And measure about two and a half inches. Now with the ankle curve, you will give it a nice curve. Just like so. Drafting on your fabric, remember to add one inch or one and a half inches seam allowance at the hem. Also, remember to add one inch or one and a half inches at the side and half an inch at the shoulder, join the front bodies and the back together. Let's cut it out. Then the neckline. bodies look like as you can see it is very easy to draft let's move to the back bodies this is the back bodies i've drawn out the lines just like the front this is the bust point line this is the waistline and this is the hip line the next thing i'm going to do is to show us how to eliminate bulging at the zipper area of the back bodies. The first thing I'm going to do is to measure half an inch inward at the waistline. Half an inch. With a straight ruler, I'm going to connect from the half an inch to somewhere here above the bus point line. Just like so. Then with the hip curve, I'm going to connect from the half an inch to the hip line. Just like so. As you can see, the back bodies has formed the back of human shape. With this, you will never have bulging at the zipper area. Next, I'm going to do is to measure one inch zipper allowance. One inch. one inch i'm going to measure one inch all through one inch at the bust point line one inch one inch one inch one inch, one inch. next is to connect the dots together with a straight ruler 
I'm going to connect like this. Then from the waist, I'm going to use my hip curve to connect to the hip line. Just like so. First line, this is where I will start to measure all my measurements from the first line. The first measurement that I will be measuring is my shoulder measurement, eight and a half inches. From the first line, I will measure eight and a half inches. Same neck width as the front, three inches. I'm measuring from the first line. I'll be using one inch for the back neck depth. I'm going to curve it out. Then with a straight ruler, I'll connect it to the zipper allowance. Just like so. I'll, at the shoulder measurement, I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. Just like the front. From the slope, I'll connect to the neck width. From the one inch, I'm going to measure my armhole depth, nine inches. The eight and a half I have here for my shoulder measurement, I'm going to also insert it here to help me draw a straight line. Just like we did with the front bodies. Next thing I'm going to do is to insert the back waist that at the bust point line, I'm going to measure my boss pan measurements, 4.5 inches. At the hip, I will also measure 4.5 inches. Then I will connect to a straight line. Next is to measure half an inch on both sides, just like we did with the front bodies. Half an inch, half an inch. Remember at the front, we came down by one inch from the bus points, but back that is usually longer than front that. So we are going to go up by one inch from the bus point line one 
one inch then at the hip line we are going to measure one inch upward next is to connect the dots Next is to insert an horizontal measurement. My bust measurement is 45 divided by 4 will give me 11 and quarter. At this first line, I'm going to measure 11 and quarter. Moving to the waist, my waist measurement is 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches plus 1 inch that will be taken in which will give me 11 inches. At this first line, I will measure my 11 inches. My hip measurement is 52 divided by 4 is 13 inches. At this first line, I will measure 13 inches. Then I will connect the shapes together. With a straight ruler, I will be connecting from my bust to my waist. Then with the hip curve, I will be connecting from my waist to the hip. Of the armhole shape. I find the midpoint of my armhole depth, which is 4.5 inches. For the back bodies, we don't need to go inward, we will just connect from the 4.5 to the bust line. Just like so. For the side shape, just like we did with the front, you will simply measure one inch upward and two and a half inches of you will give it a nice curve at the side. Just like so, gently. The zipper area, you will open it up just like this. Then follow the shape to cut it out.
the front bodice and this is the back bodice. As you can see, it is very easy to make. Next, I'm going to do is to cut the side shape out. And also do the same thing at the front bodies. As you can see, it is very easy to make. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. Did you find my tutorial helpful? If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel and also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and stay blessed. Bye!